Hey guys, so you're stuck in tutorial hell, caught in that trap? Why? It's probably a combination of these three reasons. Number one, analysis paralysis. Too many choices. Science teaches us when you have more than three choices, your, uh, it affects your mood negatively. It's too many choices. This nerd is telling you, you got to learn React. And this nerd here is saying, no, no, you got to learn TypeScript. And this person there is saying, no, you got to learn C sharp and somebody else C++. You get the idea. It gets very unnerving, right? Where you're worried that you're going to learn the wrong technology. And so you get pulled in this direction. And then after a few days, you get pulled in that direction. That's the first reason why people get caught in tutorial hell. Too many choices, too many opinions, not knowing where to go. The second reason that people get caught in tutorial hell is that they hit that coding wall where you have frustration, you have difficulty, and you got nowhere to turn because you're using a YouTube tutorial or maybe you bought a $20 course or a $10 course and you have no support. So you hit that wall and it's just like, ah, what do I do? What do I do? And it's normal, by the way. When you're learning something new, especially something as complex as coding and development, there's going to be some challenges along the way. So a lot of people, especially when you're younger, you haven't developed that skill of being patient and persistent. That's two skills, I guess. You haven't developed those two skills of per se, persistence and patience. And so you hit that wall and you go, ah, and then you combine that with uh, all those choices and all those opinions you're hearing. And it takes away the spirit, right? It takes away the will to want to push through those uh, hurdles, those walls that you can hit inevitably, inevitably when you're trying to learn how to code. The third reason that people wind up in tutorial hell is that they bite off much more than they can chew. So what do I mean by that? Well, instead of doing what you should do is concentrating on the basics and the foundations. By the way, this applies to any discipline. For example, Kobe Bryant, uh, what's his name? Jo Jordan, basketball player, you know, Michael Jordan. They're famous for drilling the basics over and over again, drilling the foundations over and over again. It's the same thing with coding. But what people make is they decide that they're just going to do the more advanced tutorial, like how to build a Twitter clone with React or how to, I don't know, build the next PayPal with uh, C -sharp .net. They try to take on a much more complex problem or a project course thinking that they're going to bypass things. So what happens, for example, learning React. React is a web-based library. You got to know your HTML. You got to know your JavaScript really well, especially ES6. So some people, a lot of people, jump straight into React without having learned JavaScript, without having learned the web stack, at least a little bit. And they hit these walls, as I spoke about in the second point. They hit it right away, and frustration ensues. And the other, you know, the other things pop up in your head. Oh, should I be learning React? Somebody else said I should learn C++ first. It's a mess. So what's the solution to this? The solution is pretty simple. Just learn the foundations. Once you learn the foundations of development, once you, once you are comfortable with coding in general, then you will have an educated eye. I call it the nerd's eye. You will be able to see the landscape in front of you in terms of development and coding. And then you're going to be able to make a much better choice in terms of what specialization you're going to get into. You see, if you're writing C Sharp code, .NET, that's a specialization. If you're using C Sharp to build games, that's a specialization. If you're doing React development, that's a specialization. You get the idea. So once you've done your foundation training, then these choices will be easy. I recommend, because it's universal, offers a whole range of opportunities and types of development, I recommend learning the web stack first. Even if you end up doing I don't know, Swift development with iOS, learning the web stack will fast uh, forward, will make it easy for you to learn iOS and Swift development. And uh, the web stack, of course, opens up a bunch of opportunities in, in terms of jobs. If you want to freelance, the web is king, that's for sure. So learn the web stack. Start with HTML5, then do some CSS3, and do some JavaScript afterwards. Once you've done these three, and you understand that context, you understand those languages, how they work together, how the websites are built, etc. Then everything will be so much easier and you're going to eliminate 
tutorial hell. You will pull yourself out of tutorial hell. You will be able to make better choices in terms of where you ultimately are going to become a, a developer. And uh, when you do approach one of those tutorials where you're going to build, I don't know, a Twitter clone with React, it will be very doable. I'm Uncle Steph. I mentor people in the ways of software development. Not only do I teach people how to write professional level code, I teach them how to take those coding skills and to turn them into a job, into a career, into a freelance business, into a SaaS business. Everything I teach, by the way, whether it be the coding, the project management, so on and so forth, everything I teach is based out of personal experience. I've been writing software for 30 years. I've been in business just as long, well, actually a little longer. Anyway, you can check me out at UncleSteph.com. If you have any questions about anything I talk about in this video, please put them in the comments below. And you can check out my UncleSteph.com slash blog where I have a podcast where I talk about all these things in, podca in podcast format. Nice 20 minutes, something you can listen to, I don't know, while you're lifting weights or something. Cheers.